We have our scoring leaders and our rebounding leader, Adonis and Jimmy. We'll go with the players first. You guys have put together some dominant, dominating performances to start the season at home. What can you guys attest that to? Um, we can we can attest that to just you know just trying to protect our home court. Uh, we just pride ourselves on on trying to rebound the ball as much as possible and and basically just not not give the fans you know a bad show. So how important was it to begin the game um, on the kind of run you did, holding them to four points in the first ten minutes, um, especially with the way they can score? Putting up an 11 0 run uh, midway through the second? Uh, it's real important. You know, we got to defend to win games. So starting off like that, it was, was real good for us. And we just got to continue to keep getting better at that. Thomas, it seems like, um, you know, some of the looks you were getting earlier in the year you weren't making now, all of a sudden you are. Just, what do you attribute to that? Feeling better, just feeling more comfortable? Uh, just stacking good days in practice and. Uh, just getting more reps up every day and just coming in <laughs> and just trying to focus and just stay true to the game, really. Did you, uh, when Jimmy picked up four fouls, obviously, you know, did you feel like you needed to do a little more at that point? Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, I know Jim is our leader, and uh, he, he picked up four quick ones, and I knew I had to step up, and I know Coach was uh, subbing me in for him, and I knew I had to pick up the slack. Uh, so far, I think this was my best game, yes. Do you feel like, uh, what do you see in the future as far as uh, just scratch the surface type thing? Uh, I mean, I'm going to just keep working hard and uh, whatever happens from this. And like I said, um, I'm going to keep trying to stack good days and practice. And whatever happens after that, that's, that's the plan. Starting to build some momentum uh, now that you've won two at home. you got two. Two games coming before you go out back on the road to Oregon State yeah. and, you, and Texas. You're trying to build that momentum and build some confidence in the team, not only for those two games, but getting in the MAC play in January. Yeah, I mean, without question. But I, I think each of these games, each one becomes harder as we go on in this month. I think each game will be tougher than the last game. So, uh, you know, we, we've played well the last two nights. Uh, by no stretch does that assure that we're going to play well Saturday. We just have to come with the right mindset, which I think we have. Defensively, we've started both games well, and we've shared the basketball. And when you do those things, you have a chance to, to be successful. I know last year, big, uh, the opponent that you'll face next, NJIT, will yeah. be all sorts of trouble. NJIT went up to Minnesota and yeah. almost pulled it off against the Gophers that uh, Williams Arena, they're a tough, they, they can be a very tough team at times. Yeah, I, I think they're really good. I, I know last year uh, that was a heck of a game. And uh, they have, I think, the nation's leading scorer uh, in terms of college points, a 2,000 point scorer returning. They have a great undersized four man who really uh, is, is a good player. I watched part of that Minnesota game last night, and they had the game. I mean, right there till about two or three minutes ago. So we'll have two days of preparation, hopefully uh, two good days of practice. And, uh, and then we'll have a challenge Saturday night that, that you know, we, we're going to have to play well. Uh, rebounding didn't end up that lopsided. Yeah. The first half certainly wasn't to control the game. And that's big for you guys all year. Yeah, I mean, that's important for us. Uh, you know, nationally, at least to this stage, we're one of the better offensive rebounding teams in the country. Uh, we have to continue to do that. It's an important part of what we do uh, and, and how we're successful. So I uh, certainly thought we did that uh, early on for sure. But you know, I, I, I thought we had a good rebounding game. Adonis had his career high. Jimmy was on pace for like, you know, to me, he was on pace for like an all time game. You know, I think at halftime, he had nine rebounds and 12 points. Like, I thought he was on pace for like one of those all-time games, but then he picked up two fouls on one possession, and he only played 19 minutes. So, you know, to score 100 points uh, with him only playing 19 minutes, for us to out-rebound a team with him only playing 19 minutes, I think that's a, a positive sign. Um, what I was asking Adonis is talk, talk about him first of all. Yeah. Especially when Jimmy got to the point. Yep. Um, 
You know what, Adonis, and he mentioned this, he's been coming in early every day in practice, uh, getting extra lifts in, uh, getting extra work with Coach Steinberg and, and the rest of the staff. Um, and I think to some degree, and I, I don't know that he would say this or not, but when you come here, sometimes you think it's going to be easy in your first year, uh, regardless of where you come from. You think it's going to, and I think it be it's a process. And he's been good in practice, and uh, and then tonight I thought he played very very well. So um, we need him to continue to do that. And they missed like. I don't know, like 13 of their 14, first 14 shots. I mean, you talked about these. Yeah, we, we, we came out. Our, our defensive mindset was great to start the game. And, uh, you know, there's a couple things we, we saw that we knew we had to guard well certain actions. And I thought we were, we were the first 10 minutes of the game was as good as we can do defensively. You know, I, I didn't think the last 10 minutes of the first half was great. Uh, but you know what? At the end of the day, if you can hold the team to 36% shooting, uh, that's pretty good. We 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 did foul too much, and uh, that's something we'll we'll try to clean up through film. Uh, what we need to do to defend without fouling. Um, just four really lopsided home games. Or yeah, listen, I I I'd say that's great, but I also know that Saturday has zero. <laughs> they're the NJIT doesn't care about that, right? Like they're just coming to play and trying to win. Um, and they, they certainly feel like they had a chance to beat us the last time they played us. Uh, they're just coming off uh, a game against Minnesota where they were up with five minutes to go in the game, feeling like they could have won that. And they have good players. I mean, they, they're a really, really, when you watch them on film, I just watched that Minnesota game. Like I thought they were, they were good. Like I thought they were really good. And, um, you know, I do think Niagara a little bit. Sometimes they have a bunch of young guys, and they just come off the biggest win in the last probably four years for them. I, I think you know sometimes you start to feel yourself a little bit, and that impacted how they played tonight, as did we. And that's what we have to guard against. Okay, thinking well, we're just going to come out and play well. Well, there's a reason you, we played well. We defended, we rebounded, and as you said, for the first ten minutes they were one for thirteen. Is that what? Yeah, so if we can do that, that can give get us off to a good start. Any other questions? Great. Thank you guys. Hope we see you Saturday.